Okay, my special love and healing ministry tribe. This is another day that the Lord has made and we rejoice and are glad in Him. I just finished doing morning glory moments and I just thought, just go on into ministration. Do all you have to do for the Lord right here in your sacred space before you go into the house and get carried away with uh, the things you have to do also today, right? And um, all of those things take courage and they take this faith that everything is going to be all right. And um, sometimes you don't necessarily feel so on par, right? You don't feel like you... Who are you? You know, you, 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 you look at yourself and you say, Ah, uh, me, I'm just sitting in my corner. Oh, me, I'm just this person. Oh, me, I'm just, oh, God, oh, but no. If he calls you, he calls you. And the best thing to do is to pray for courage and for that kind of faith, unshakable one, like Gideon had and David had and Joshua and all of those examples in the Bible. So, um, with God, it is so possible. There's nothing like impossible with Him. But I, we lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name. Oh Lord, we lift your name. Oh Lord, we lift your name higher. Shout hallelujah. 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 What shall I do today, today? Oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. What shall I do today, today? Oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. For all I know, all I know, you are all. Yeah, with me, Almighty God, Almighty God, Almighty Father, you're my all and all. No matter, no matter, no matter what they say, whatever comes my way, I will praise your name today, 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 not tomorrow. Yes, yes, you give me that courage, Father, and you're going to give it to us all. And so I just want to thank you this morning for this other opportunity to minister to the world and to tell of your goodness and your glory and to say, no, Father, no, I'm not afraid of what the world says, what the world does, what the world thinks. Ah. Huh? There's so much assurance and reassurance in your word. And I do decree, Papa, that no weapon, no, no shenanigans of the devil, no gimmicks, no all of that thing. He can roam and roam as he wants around me, Father. Ah, ah, I know you got me. You got Gideon, you got Joshua, you got David, you got Mary Madeleine, you got Rehab, you got... Ruth, you got all of them, Father. You got your own beloved son, Jesus. Of course, he couldn't die for me and then you don't have me, Papa. So I just want this grace to continue to walk with such courageous faith, knowing that you got me. Forgive my moments of doubt and iniquities and all of those things, Papa, you do it, you do it, because your grace is sufficient for me and for us all. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for blowing and blowing and blowing and filling me up and filling us up. In Jesus' name, I pray to you, Papa. Amen. I love my Papa, my super daddy God. 
like he's the best father i can have and i love it i love i love relating like this with my father even my biological father i have such a special connection special relationship with him but i don't talk to him every day like i talk with my papa ah papa 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 i love you papa and i love what i read in your word and all what you did ah papa <laughs> thank you papa okay so we are still looking at Gideon. This is part two, you know, um, started part one on Sunday, looking at the courage of Gideon and seeing how from this um, last in his father's household, from the tribe of Man, uh, the least tribe in Manasseh, or the smallest tribe in Manasseh, who couldn't even just imagine that God was going to pick him and tell him to do what he himself has spent his whole time complaining about, like, uh, me? No, I'm echo. There's probably a whole army somewhere there. Oh, uh, how am I going to stop and stand and be talking to people that God said, God said, ah. So, this is why the Lord had to speak to him again. Because he has seen the angel face to face and all of those things, but he had to uh, start doing things. Because it's not just about that belief inside you. You have to now have the courage to start putting it into practice, right? Because faith is the evidence of things not seen. But now you have to make them see that courage to push you to do that. We cannot afford to stay in the background. No, we can't. Okay. So that night, the Lord said to him, take your father's bull and the second bull, seven years old, and pull down the altar of Baal that your father has and cut down the Asherah that is beside it and build an altar to the Lord your God on the top of the stronghold there, stronghold here, with some laid in due order. Yes, his father had built an altar to Baal and then they are complaining that the Midianites are oppressing them. Who are they believing in at this moment of their lives? Have they forgotten what God did? Brought them out of Israel, out of Egypt. Sorry, Papa, sorry. Brought them out of Egypt and how Moses, look, used his staff and the Red Sea parted. What might? What? What display of God's greatness? Oh, my goodness. Oh, God, forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. And his own father had built an altar to Baal. Which Baal? <laughs> oh. So yes, that is where Gideon had to start. Take it down. Those strongholds in your life, take it down. In your family, take it down. Use your prayer. Do whatever. Take it down. Be no nonsense about it. You know who got you, right? You know who is asking you to do those things, right? Tell it to them in no nonsense language. No, I can't. The world is so loud. You go anywhere, you see the TV is on and there's all of the music and the crazy and the whatever, and the all kinds of images that can lead people and all of that. I don't watch those things. And I tell my children, those things don't add value to your life. Watch this. Listen to this kind of music. And so I play it loud in the house. I take it down. And yes, build an altar to the Lord your God. As I'm doing this, they're listening. They know. I have conversations with them. And do it loud. Why? Because when they're playing, they were still playing all of that other crazy thing. They'll also be loud. So why don't be loud? I used to wonder, why would people be putting loudspeakers on the road? And I'm like, oh, yes, now they should do it. Do whatever you have to do. Do it loud. Do it without fear. Like This is why you need this kind of courage. The, the crazy one. And so, yeah, he has to uh, take the second bowl and offer it as a burnt offering with the wood of the Asherah that you shall cut down. Don't only take down, but burn. So Gideon took ten men of his servants and did as the Lord had told him. 
But because he was too afraid of his family and the men of the town to do it by day, he did it by night. Anyway, he did it. So yes, sometimes when you start, you don't have all of that courage. As I said in when I was doing Morning Glory Moments, I didn't start like this, right? Um, it was also because I was like, well, who is watching me? Who, who cares? And, and um, I just want to do me the barest minimum. No, no, me, Papa, me, I cannot. But as I grow in courage, you know, uh, like, yeah, I show up, I'm loud, I am bright. Uh, oh, God. So it doesn't matter if you cannot do it by day, do it by night. But by every means, do it. Praise God. So Gideon destroys the altar of Baal. <laughs> when the men of the town rose early in the morning, behold... The altar of Baal was broken down, and the Asherah beside it was cut down, and the second bull was offered on the altar that had been built. And they said to one another, Who has done this thing? And after they had searched and inquired, they said, Gideon, the son of Joash, has done this thing. Then the men of the town said to Joash, Bring out your son, that he may die. For he has broken down the altar of Baal and cut down the Asherah beside it. But Joah said to all who stood against him, Will you contend for Baal, or will you, or will you save him? Whoever contends for him shall be put to death by morning. If he is a god, let him contend for himself, because his altar has been broken down. Yes, let Baal contend for him. He said, Let us see. Let us see. Ah. Therefore, on that day, Gideon was called. Jerubal, that is to say, let Baal contend against him. Because he has broken down his altar, could Baal do that? You know this, uh, uh, whatever God's people serve sometimes in life, you know, money, food, sex, clothes, all of those things. Can they contend for themselves? Can they save you? Can they give you peace of mind? Can they make you happy? Can they give you sleep? Can they? Oh. So when it's time to fast, I don't joke. I just... My family knows me. I, I don't even, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't bargain with God. So I don't negotiate with people. I don't explain. I don't do all of those things. No, 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 no. I don't have that time. I know who I stand for. I know what he has done in my life and what he continues to do. So if he says go left, I go. If he says go right, I go. If he says speak, I speak. If he says don't speak, I don't speak. If he says stand up, I stand. If he says publish this, I, if he says, I, so I need to really be sensitive to his voice. Yes, Papa. So now all the Midianites and the Amalekites and the people of the east came together and they crossed the Jordan and encamped in the valley of Jezreel. But the Spirit of the Lord clothed Gideon and he sounded the trumpet and the Abiezrites right were called out to follow him. Let's keep going. Verse 35. And he sent messengers throughout all Manasseh, and they too were called out to follow him. And he sent messengers to Esher, Zebulun, and Naphtali, and they went up to meet him. Amen. Okay, so um, on Sunday we are going to look at part 3, and we are going to see how Gideon stepping up like this, um, let his people to victory, right? Uh, you see the courage Gideon has to destroy the altar of Baal that was even in his own father's house. Goodness gracious. And how, although he was afraid to do it by day, well, his father stood up for him. And his father said, "Ah, oh, let Baal speak for himself. Now let Baal do what he can do. You know, sometimes you want to see like, okay, well, if you have power, Stand up, speak, do it, perform. All that noise is for what? Just do it. Let us see. But when you know who got your back, when you know who got your back, you know you are even capable of saying like, Shadra, Mesha, Kanabedego, even if he doesn't do it, I will not save you money. I will not save you sex. I will not save you this. I refuse to make you a stronghold in my life. I refuse to walk that way anymore. 
I have seen what God has done, how he has taken people from the, from the field and made shepherd boy David made him a king until finding him a man after his own heart. Who else has God found to be after his own heart again? I mean, human being. Ah, God. The Bible is full of all of that. So do not hold back. Do not think that, oh, who am I? No, me, I don't have me power. I don't have a voice. So I do that. Was Moses not a stammerer? And if you use that voice even as it is, do you know how God can perfect it and make that voice so loud? You want to start singing me like, oh, who is going to listen to me? Start. And God is listening. Who is going to believe me? Oh, do you believe yourself? Do you believe in God? Do you? Then start. Take down that altar that you yourself have created, built in your own life, in your heart, in your room, in your house, wherever. Take it down. Break off that relationship. Stop. Walk in obedience. This is what I take away from this uh, passage that I read this morning. Gideon walked in obedience. It doesn't matter if you deal it, that if you are fight, you are afraid, but do it. But I help us. Help us to not only read, but to seek all avenues to put into practice what we have read. To look at, what, at ourselves in the mirror and tell ourselves the truth. We are not chickens. We are made in your image and likeness. That means something. And you did not give us a spirit of fear. So what are we doing? Not stepping up. Only finding reasons and reasons and reasons why we can't, we can't, we can't. Not taking down those strongholds in our lives, those altars to whatever crazy. Because we are so afraid. Oh, what if? What if I don't I don't save? What if? What if? What if? Are you the creator of your life? Look at that foolish man in the Bible who had a bountiful harvest and instead of sharing some with his neighbors and, 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 and you know, stuff like that, he said, I will build a bigger barn and I will live and I will enjoy myself. That very night, his soul, the bread was taken away from him. What's the whole point then? What's the whole point? Papa, help me. Help us to really surrender. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. And when you surrender all, He fills you up. That courage and your faith starts to grow. And then you stand up and you speak up. And you are loud and you do it. One step after the other. And it will bless your endeavors. Because we are going to see how he gave Gideon and his few men the victory on Sunday. Thank you so much, Papa. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. In your mighty name I pray this morning. Amen. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, world. And God is so good all the time. And all the time, God is good. So, few announcements, right? Tomorrow, Breakthrough Thursdays at 4 a.m. GMT. The link is there. Friday, Morning Glory Moments with my humble self. Sunday, Ministration. And, well, I didn't know it was going to go to part three. But, Papa, go to part three. Maybe, I don't know if you go to part four just walking in obedience and i'm just so grateful for what the lord has done and i know it is marvelous in his sight and so he keeps blessing it in, in ways that people cannot even see people cannot fathom but i feel it and i'm just so grateful for it 
So be inspired, right? Be inspired. If you think the Bible is kind of, oh, those are stories. Look, me who is talking to you, God, God, God. And I'm not the only one. There's a whole generation that so many people, you know, soldiers, armies, generals, people in his kingdom, people who the world might have thought, that, who are those? Thank you, Papa. Keep doing it. Keep doing it, right, for your glory. Amen.